felters and welcome so it's the 2nd of June so I finished the last studio vlog at the end of the month for once and now we're going on to the next lot so I'm just going to show you a couple of things I've made I'll just turn you round so this chap I made at the end of the last studio vlog and then to use up the wool I just made a mini me version which is really good because if you order like 100 grams of wool or something and you just get left with this tiny amount it's worth just making a little mini version of what you're doing and then the next thing I made is one of my um, frames so it's really similar this is a whole uh, cow head so he's really similar to my Archie Highland cow course that I do just on a much smaller scale and then I just stick him on a frame and you find that people really quite like this um i only do them for craft fairs because i don't like posting heavy things but they work really well because people don't know where to put the felt sometimes but if you stick it in a frame they uh really really like that so he's got little eyes um little ears just poked in there and yeah nice horns and he just looks really good so that's those two so far and we're just getting on with another little highland cow and a couple more bits and pieces and then I'm going to be doing Sheldon sheep. So hello everyone. Um, I thought I'd just do a bit of felting and talking at the same time because I don't really ever seem to do that. I don't know, you know, when you guys watch my vlogs, maybe you're sitting there felting. Hopefully you are because I think it's just nice just to have something on in the background. I was just watching. I actually watch... Um, Ollie and Bella which is a knitting one I just like her um, and it's quite interesting I learn some different things every now and again she knits she cro crochets and she sews but she's just quite funny and really pleasant to listen to and she says exactly the same she goes I hope you've got me on whilst you're doing something you know it's just nice to have someone else there with you in the background yeah so I sat there the other day and said oh yeah I'm going to do Sheldon sheet next I had him all ready, I had him out, and I was going to start that morning, and do you know what came into my head? Pigs. So, you, um, by the time you see this, you will have probably seen the video, but I'm doing a design of three little pigs, which, um, he doesn't look that good yet. He'll look good when he's got legs, I think. He'll look cute. I don't know why. It just grabbed me, so... And I've got this lovely pink from World of Wool. It's um, it's not a colour you think is pink. It's a uh, carded Coradel Slither eggshell. But it's a really light pink colour. And I'm going to do another pig, sort of like, I think, is it Saddleback? Or the ones that are black and pink. And then I might do a Tamworth just to do something completely different. Because I haven't quite got enough pink as well. But um, there we go. And that's what felting's like. You can just do whatever grabs your fancy, which is why it's just so flexible and easy. And you just go, oh, you know, I'm going to do pigs. That's what I feel like doing. So Sheldon Sheep will be next. But um, I'll uh, show you the progress of this pig in a minute. First pig done. Prototype. I like him and my daughter has already tried to steal him so that is always a really good sign so let's carry on and make the other two or the other one and then I'll do the video there we go here we are so I finished Sheldon's sheep and I was really pleased with him uh, I think he came out really well there were a couple of uh, points that I had to mention about the kit the fact that the wire was a bit thin obviously we know about that and ran out of uh, the white wool but um I can't do a review and not mention it because it would not be right can you see his eye I cheated and used a glass eye there you go <laughs> I didn't even make the proper eye but um it's really quite fiddly to make those tiny little eyes anyway um so that's Sheldon sheep so I've got the three little pigs and the Sheldon sheep, all the videos, all the uh, footage is in my phone. So I've got to edit it all and get it out. Um, and I'm just going to make one more Highland cow or and a couple of other little ones for the craft fair. So um, 
from the Highland Cow I'm going to make next is going to be, so I've got Archie, my Highland Cow course, which I've sold quite a few courses now, but some of the ladies did Archie with long hair where they didn't trim him and it looks so good. So I am going to do an Archie with long hair and I'm going to insert that into my course so that people have the option to trim the hair or not trim the hair and they can see how it looks. So that's what I'm going to do next. Um, and then one or two Highland Cows for my fair. Hey Felters, so just wanted to show you what arrived today. So this is from Zoe Robson, Fleece for You on Facebook. Now, um, she was recommended to me from Katie and Linda at um, Needlebugs and also uh, some of my patrons use her too. And her stuff is just fantastic. But she put out a driftwood um, sale the other day and it's £15 for a box of driftwood it's sort of a lucky dip of pieces and I must have at least 15 pieces in there so it's £15 plus postage there's some absolutely gorgeous pieces and uh, these were all wrapped very carefully all the bigger ones so that they arrive all in one piece but they are so cute for imagine putting your creations on these and driftwood is really quite expensive so I'm really 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 happy with this and then I also because I was ordering the driftwood I thought I'll look at her fleeces this is a blue faced Leicester fleece look at the staple on that so this is raw unwashed and it's a whole fleece it's a hog fleece which I'm not sure I think that means male I'm not sure and it's the first cut so normally that's probably going to be the softest fleece. I think I'm actually going to do, it's lovely, it's massive. Like I said, I'm not getting it out. This was 25, I think, because it's a, a first fleece. They come out really soft and really lovely with great um, uh, locks on them. Um, but um, she does lots of fleeces and um, I think some are washed, some are not. But go and have a look on her Facebook. I'll link her in description. But I think I'm going to probably do a whole video on fleeces, buying fleeces, what to look for, what to be careful about. I might, if we're lucky, I might even go and visit Zoe and because um, her knowledge is second to none. So there we go. So I thought you'd like to see that. It's very uh, lanonin, obviously. Um, so don't order it if you can't handle sheep smell but it's not bad at all but you just wash it and it take a while to wash it I've got a video on washing but there we go I thought you'd like to see those just making the long-haired Archie and just doing his horns just adding a bit of detail trying to make them um, just nice sort of graduated colour oh, so here we go again people another craft fair Everything is loaded up and fitted in there. I redid, oh, I can't show you. I think I've shown you already, actually. There we go. He's squished in. I redid Archie for my Highland Cow course, so you can have a short haired version and a long haired version. And in case I sell him, um, that's him I'll try and show you at the craft fair. Empty shelves again. Love doing that because I can clean them all. My pots are looking good. I have got room for one more pot and that pot's not very nice. So I might buy one tomorrow at the craft fair. And I kind of went through all my shelves a bit. It doesn't look like it, but I went through them all and tidied them a bit. So everything's ready. I like it when everything's neat and tidy. I've put a load of stuff up there now. Look at all those mats I've got. I've got so many mats. It'll keep me busy for a long, long time. And those egg boxes are for Claire's Crafts Creates for the um, DHG world, which is really lovely world. I'm going to do a video on. But there we go. All packed up, ready to go. Here we go again. Here we are at the craft fair, all set up. I'm in a different position this time. I'm next door to a lady who I know really well, so that's fantastic. Um, Long-haired Archie's all done there, and there's a couple of other Kyle and Cow heads. So I was pretty pleased. I sometimes feel I don't have enough stuff, but um, it was okay. I had enough to make the display look good. Um, so that's the craft fair. Morning, everyone. So day after the craft fair, craft fair was £192, which was uh, the lowest I've ever earned there. But that's still no way in anything to be upset about. Basically, we had Wimbledon and the football uh, was on yesterday. So there were two things competing. And the place that I go, they have a restaurant. And unfortunately, that was shut due to COVID. 
but um, all of their staff had to self-isolate. So it was a bit of a tricky day uh, for most people, but I'm still very, very happy. So today I don't have a, a craft fair now for another three months. So I can put most of my uh, remaining stuff onto Etsy, which is really, really good to get some stuff into my Etsy shop. So I've got about 10 items. I need to photograph, do mini videos, um, and then put them on. How long do you think it's going to take me? I reckon it's going to be at least three hours. It's 7.30 in the morning. The children are still asleep. So that's really, I say children, they're not little. They're 14 and 15. So you'd expect them to still be asleep. Um, so I'm going to get that done over the next few hours. Let's get started. we go um all done it's 10 57 so three and a half hours but three hours really because i did a bit of washing and stuff in between so that's eight no hang on one two three eight nine ten items the thing that slowed me down was the video wasn't saving unless i cropped it because i copy and paste previous makes to make things a lot faster on etsy um and the video was messing around but yeah Done. <clears throat> Here we go. World of all delivery. Always an exciting day when this arrives. I can't remember what, what I ordered. I ordered lots of core because I get fed up ordering core. I do a world of all delivery about once a month, I have to say. Woohoo! Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Now that is the links. That is interesting. That is not as light as the one before maybe it'll look all right when it's uh, thinned out so that's lynx oh i was trying a new color shetland vixen for highland cows mm, possible yeah possible and then this is the corridor eggshell which is a really lovely pink and then i've just ordered a natural brown i was trying to get a nice brown color for a horse that is quite good actually really nice Oh, I love the smell. And then I've got a black. So this is a carded Perindale Bat Raven. So that's just a straightforward black carded, the best one. And then this I, quite, I use quite a bit, actually. Carded Perindale Bat Mocha. So it's a really dark brown. And, um, yeah, I use that quite a lot. And then just my core wool. Perindale Bat. Carded... Perindel back and then a, <clears throat> a load of carded Cheviot Slither. This is 300 in here. They squeeze in 300. This is 200. There we go. Just to show you uh, one of the Highland cow heads in a different colour, sort of caramel colour. I think it works really well. It looks really cute. Just to show you, the customer asked me to cut the horns off this one, but she wanted it like that, so it's quite easy to do, really. Hi, Felters. So it's the 21st of July, and um, I haven't done much for the past few days because the puppies, we picked them up on Saturday, and it's now Wednesday. So they've been lots of fun, and I'll show you a little bit of footage of them in a minute. But um, something I ordered in between and I wanted to show you was this. So... This is a needle felting kit from Little Blue Artworks, but I wanted to show you how she's very, very eco-friendly. Um, and it was she was doing a giveaway on the Needle Felting UK Facebook, and I, I, um, it was for the for um, a whale, and I really, really wanted to win, but I didn't win. 
so I thought well I'll buy the kit anyway and I'm going to do it so just to show you so it arrives beautiful it was in a, another bag but my children open up all my packages when they arrive um, and so this is all nice eco-friendly bubble wrap oh I just open it up here it is but I was really, really keen to try it. And there he is. There's the little whale. Um, not little, anyway. He's a big blue whale, isn't he? It's all plastic free. Um, but yeah, so I really liked the look of him. So I'm going to try and do that and video that at some point soon. But yeah, it's got lots of stuff all on the back. Really nice box. Really well done. Really fast delivery. So really, really pleased with that. And um, I'll let you know how it goes. Hi, Felters. So it's the 23rd. Um, it has been really hot and I haven't been like felting and yes of course I've got the puppies and they're fairly hard work but they do have quite a lot of sleeps um, but I just haven't felt like doing any felting this is a bit of a haven't felt this for pardon the pun haven't felt this for a while um, just feel a bit like because I've got this that I did just before the puppies arrived and I just I've just looked at it for ages <laughs> I haven't really wanted to finish it so just going through a bit of a, a lull with I mean like the temperatures cooled down today and I could do it I could start felting but just not really feeling it at all but you know everything else is fine like I'm talking to all my patrons and doing videos I've got to do a couple of videos over the weekend for them and that's all fine but I just haven't felt like picking up the needle. So I think I got a bit of my sort of mojo back <laughs> with um, felting because the hot weather's gone and I just think it was the hot weather. I really, really struggled. So I managed to do a few things. Let me show you. Um, I've done this uh, little Highland cow head, another picture frame one. Um, I think I showed you the other one last time. So I'd half started. Uh, so he's got little fabric uh, backing you can't really see it that clearly because his head's so big and then um, I'm also starting on let me there we go I'm also because I got the driftwood that I showed you I'm going to do uh, it doesn't look like much at the moment I'm going to try and do a little owl that's going to sit he's going to have wings and everything so that's what I'm sort of doing at the moment, getting it all back together, doing a little bit more work. Puppies are sleeping. I'll show you the puppies in a bit. So here they are. This is Gracie and Sapphire. They are probably here about nine weeks old mini Dachshunds. They do have their own YouTube channel. I'll put it in the description if anyone's interested, but they are taking up quite a bit of my time, but they are lots of fun. Definitely feeling a bit better. So um, I've decided I've started to do this. Ow! Actually, I've just oh, stabbed him so he'll stand up. Right. Um, so you can see the owl shape. And you know, I'm sort of halfway through him. And I got all this driftwood that I mentioned about. So I'm going to do sort of a standing owl. It's going to have little feet sitting on a piece of driftwood. I think. I think that will look good. I'll see. So I'm definitely feeling a bit better about my needle felting. Oh, his face looks massive from the side, but it won't. Um, I'll sort of do lines and features and dots and um, hopefully he'll look cute. Here's the little owl all finished. Um, he's still drying, so I won't turn him round. But I've glued him onto the log. I've made little feet, so I'll see how successful the gluing is. He's got little dots on his head as well. I'll pop him on Etsy if I'm happy. Um, so I think... I'm probably going to do the video for this guy and um, I'll show you some of the making of him and the video will go up in probably a couple of days or a week. Everybody, it's the 31st so I am just about to go on my zoom call with my patrons where we just have a zoom felt along and so I'm really looking forward to it we had one the other day and it went really well there was about 10 of us but it's lovely because you just share 
sort of stories and we do felt and do talk about felting but yeah it's really really good i am going to be um finishing mr man the whale so he's coming along i'm quite pleased with him that's it for this month if anyone's got any questions just put them in the comments below and we'll see you all next month happy felting everyone take care